I guess that's all locked up tight now, as it should be. Uh, hi there, Jody. Oh, hi, Sam. Well, everything's all safe down here. Let's go upstairs. A hand with him isn't too heavy. No, no, I can manage fine. Thank you. <laughs> well, on our way to the children's department once again. Okay, it's clear. The customers have all gone home now. Today's special is Memories. Well, that finishes it. What do you think? Favorite Memories Contest. Win a free camera. Oh. Wow. Well, you did a great job, Jody. You can even be a professional sign painter. <gasps> Why, well, that's what I wanted to be when I was a little girl. That was just before I wanted to be a tightrope walker and just after I wanted to be an ear, nose, and foot doctor. <laughs> oh, can I really believe my eyes? Could I win a camera for a prize? Yeah, you sure could, Muffy. Wow. See, the contest is for everybody who works in the store. We're all supposed to write about our favorite memory, then we're going to have a great big party, we read all of the memories, and then vote on the one we like best. Memory lane. Count on the store owner to come up with an idea like that for an annual party, eh? It's going to be fun just trying to decide which memory is our favorite. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> There's really nothing quite as nice as thinking about all the good times that we've had. <laughs> thinking back to days gone by could bring a teardrop to your eye. It's not that memories make you sad, because they're happy tears for all the years and all the good times we've had. Remember the good times. <laughs> Remember the smiles from way back then. Remember the good times. And you can relive them once again. Whenever you need a lift, it's like a gift that never goes away. Remember the good times and yesterday's good times will bring you a brand new smile today. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> nice. Hey, Sam, what good memories do you remember? Well, uh, let me see now. Oh, well, uh, I remember my first day in the Merchant Marine. See, my captain told me to be the lookout up in the crow's nest. Well, don't you know that for half an hour, I was looking for a bird's nest. Until one of my crewmates told me that the crow's nest was just a platform high up on the main mast. Oh! <laughs> I remember the day a parade came to town, and my dad helped me meet the world's tallest clown. Yeah, oh. <laughs> it's neat. <laughs> and I remember playing skip rope with the Countess of Macaroon. Yeah. Well, suddenly, a stray kangaroo wandered into the courtyard and showed us all a thing or two about skipping. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good story. Remember the good times, remember the smile. From way back then oh, Remember the good times And you can relive them once again Whenever you need a lift It's like a gift That never goes away Remember, remember the, the good, good, good times, times And yesterday's, yesterday's good, good times They'll bring you a brand new smile Today well, 
Well, now that we've started talking about this favorite memories contest, I can't stop thinking about it. I think I'll go work on my story. You know, I was just thinking the same thing. Oh, Come let's on. go. Oh, hey, that goes for me, too. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> oh, I bet we can come up with some great memories. <laughs> Oh, here it is. Oh, good. I was afraid I'd lost it. Hi, Mrs. Pennypacker. Oh, Jeff. <laughs> is this for the favorite memories contest? Oh, yes, Jeffrey. I plan to recount my adventures with Captain Algernon Owlsworthy. Oh, Ally, he was one of the greatest adventurers of all time. <laughs> Did he give you this? Yes. Well, I'll have you know. I saved his life once. You did? Yes, that oh, was very funny how it happened. You see, I was on a safari in Lower Frania, a land very rich in treasures. I was in search of the great white-nosed rhino, which I had heard lived in the area. For three days I had wandered, searching, and I was about to give up when suddenly I saw something. <gasps> Is this here? <laughs> if this isn't the great white nose rhino, then I'm a polka dot orangutan. <laughs> oh, uh, I mean, <gasps> Captain Algernon Ellsworthy, I presume. At your service. Oh, it's such a great pleasure to meet you. I say, aren't you the famous Mrs. Pennypacker? Oh, I am indeed. Well, then, my dear, pleasure is all mine. Oh. oh. <laughs> Whatever is a great explorer like you doing in Lower Frania? Well, I've been commissioned to search for the lost treasure of King Karuf. <gasps> but I must say, so far, I've had no luck. Oh, well, I've been searching for the great white-nosed rhino without any luck as well, I might add. I've looked that way, and I've looked that oh, way. Oh, oh, I, oh, oh, I am very sorry. Are you all right? Oh. Yes, yes. Yes, by Georgia. I think it is. Why, Mrs. Pennypacker, you've found my treasure. Oh, oh. Mrs. Pennypacker, do you realize what you have just done? Yes, I've given you a terrible blow to the stomach, and I'm terribly sorry about no, it. No, 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 not that. Not that. No. First of all, you helped me find my treasure. Oh, well, it Yes, was... and then, then you, you saved my life from those nasty Lower Franians. Now, now, Captain, the Lower Franians are a lovely people. And what about that arrow? Uh, an inexperienced member of the Lower Franian Bow and Arrow Club. After all, this is the third day of their competition. But I thought that only lasted two days. Oh, my, you're right. Besides, it was being held over there. Oh! 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 oh. 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 My, my dear Mrs. Pennypacker, I insist that you have one of these pendants here as a reward. But first, there is something we must do. Oh. Oh. Well, what's that, Captain Oldsworthy? Get out of here! Oh, 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 oh yes, 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 over here. Well, maybe we oh, 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 that was a great story, Mrs. Pennypacker. Oh. You know, I almost felt like I was right there with you. Oh. <laughs> I bet you're going to win the contest. Oh, Jeffrey. <laughs> now, I'm sure everyone has wonderful memories of their past, too. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm, I'm sure everyone does, Mrs. Pennypacker. We'll oh. see you later. Well, uh, um, goodbye. Jeffrey, hmm, did Jeffrey sound a little sad to you? You know, I never thought of it before, but Jeffrey probably doesn't have any nice memories of places like Lower Frania because he's never been out of the store. Must be a good book. Oh, yeah, it is, Jeff. 
Doesn't look like a normal book, though. Oh, no, it's not. It's a scrapbook. Huh? I'm looking through it trying to decide which is my favorite memory. Uh, are these old pictures of you when you were a little girl? Yeah. <laughs> See, this is a picture of me with my sister and my mom. Uh, I, I guess there are a <laughs> lot of memories in there. Oh, yeah, there are all sorts of things in here. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, this is me going to my first high school dance. Oh, you look nervous. <laughs> oh, I was, Jeff. I was scared. <laughs> well, I didn't really know Gerald. That's the boy who asked me, so I didn't know what we were going to talk about. <laughs> Did it turn out okay? Oh, yeah. But at first I thought I'd made a terrible mistake by saying yes. Thank you, Gerald. Gee, this really looks like good punch. I hope so. I'm not sure if I picked the right kind. Judging punch is not the thing I do best. Oh, I'm sure it's just fine. So, uh, have you seen any good movies lately? No, going to the movies is not the thing I do best. Well, what about books? Have you read any good books lately? No. No, reading books is not the thing I do best. <laughs> well, uh, did you try out for the football team? No. No, playing football is not the thing I do best. Well, I guess that you probably wouldn't want to dance, would you? Oh, but that's the thing I do best. I guess your first date with Gerald turned out all right after all. Yeah, it sure did. <laughs> oh, and we won the dance contest. Oh, oh that's a great <laughs> memory, Jody. I mean, it's totally different from Mrs. Pennypacker's, but, well, I could still win the contest. Well, I guess everybody's favorite memories are different, Jeff. Yeah. I guess they are different, Jody. <laughs> well, we'll see you later. Okay. Bye, Jeff. Bye. I wonder if... Jeff's feeling left out with all of our talk about memories. Well, let's see what we got here. Oh, look at this. There's my, my plunger. Need that. With the emergency horn, that's good. And the buckle for tying onto my belt. What else do we have here? Oh, yeah. There we are. My hip boot shoehorn. Certainly want that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, gotta get a shorter shoehorn or some longer hip boots or something. Put that over there, out of the way. Won't be needing that for a couple of days. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, I must be getting close. It must be in What are you getting close to, Sam? <laughs> oh, bangling barnacles, Jeff. <laughs> I didn't even hear you come in. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sam. I, oh, I guess you were too busy looking through your chest. Mm -hmm. What's in there, anyway? Oh, memories, Jeff. Dozens of memories. But there's one in particular that I'm looking for. It's a big, shiny metal thing. Got a safety pin on the end of it. Ouch! Mm. Oh. There it is. There it is. I found it. <laughs> wow. Yeah. How did you get that? Oh, it was nothing, really, Jeff. I mean, it's all written there on the metal. Oh, here it is. 
for bravery. <laughs> extreme bravery, I think it says. Right. For extreme right. bravery, <laughs> above and beyond the call of duty, this medal is presented to, to Sam Crenshaw. Crenshaw. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. <laughs> uh, from General uh, Alvin uh, Cooper. Um, just on the edge there, there's... Thwaite. Right. <laughs> Cooper Thwaite. Yeah. Cooper Thwaite. Who's yeah. that, Sam? <laughs> Well, that's that's all part of the story. <laughs> See, it was it was back in my days in the in the merchant marine, Jeff. Oh, wow, I, I bet that was exciting. I mean, sailing around the world. Oh yes, it was, Jeff. But well, sometimes, to be honest, it was kind of dangerous too, you know. It was my turn for the night watch, and oh, what a night it was! Dark and stormy. I tell you, hanging on to that wheel was a little like trying to hold a runaway horse. But I was managing to steer her through the storm. Then I saw something that didn't look like lightning, but, well, I was alone and nobody else saw it. Just when I told myself it was my imagination, I saw it again. I knew I'd be taking the ship off course, but I just had to find out what was out there. So I turned to the starboard and headed toward the flare. Why, it was the roughest sailing of my life. But finally, I looked ahead and saw a life raft. And there was someone in it. I made my way over to it and called out to him. Ahoy there! Who are you? Alvin Cooperthwaite. Don't worry, Alvin. I'll get you off of that raft. But I was all by myself on the deck, and I couldn't let go of the wheel, or the ship might capsize. Then I noticed a coil of rope at my feet. Why, that was just what I needed. I tied one end of it to the wheel, and then I tied a loop around my waist so I could leave the wheel without really letting go of it. Okay, grab onto the rope and I'll pull you up. I'm ready. So I pulled with all my strength and finally got him aboard, only to find that Alvin was a very important person in the armed forces. And a week later, well, there was a special ceremony just for me. I pin this medal on you in recognition of your brave deed, and with it, I add my deepest thanks. <laughs> ouch, oh, ouch, ouch, sorry, ouch. Sam. Well, anyway, that's the way I got the medal from General Alvin Cooperthwaite. I never realized I was so close to a real hero before. Well, uh, I wouldn't really go that far, Jeff, but uh, it is kind of nice to think about, yeah. yeah. Well, you sure have a great favorite memory for the contest. Uh, thank you, Jeff. Well, I'll see you later, Sam. Okay, I'll see you, Jeff. Yeah. Yes, I hope Jeff doesn't feel badly about hearing about everyone else's memories. Hmm. You know, he just might. Well, anyway, I just better put my medal away. Uh, where did Jeff put it? Where, where did my medal go? Emergency! Emergency, TXL! Oh, somebody's stolen my... Someone's stolen my medal here! It was right here on my... Oh, there it is, right there on my chest. Stop, stop, stop! I found it. This strange-looking hat is a symbol that I'm very, very smart. <laughs> but to me, it's also a sign of a moment so fine in which I played a part. Mm -hmm. uh, Muffy, <laughs> uh? excuse me, but why are you wearing that funny hat? Well, uh, it may look funny, I agree, but it still means very much to me. Is this one of your favorite memories? Oh, it's one of the best for this contest. Well, I'd love to hear it. Uh, will you tell me? Well, of course I will. It would be a thrill. <clears throat> it was a wonderful sight, my graduation night. We'd learned as much as they could teach. But best of all, as I recall, I was asked to make a speech. 
And I have to say, I've enjoyed every day in these lovely Mouse High Halls. And in coming years, we'll think with tears of the memories school recalls. But I know it's time to end this rhyme with a call for all to stand. And repeat with me, please. May we always have cheese and may cats one fine day be banned. Yay! Whoosh! As principal of Mouse High, it is with great personal pleasure that I present this special award for outstanding rhyming ability. Wait, to Michelle, the please look out! Oh, oh, oh. Well, this only proves what an exceptional mouse Muffy really is. And so I would like to present an extra special award, Mouse High's greatest award, the Mozzarella Award. I'm very proud of you, Muffy. That was a very brave thing to do. Oh, I don't think I was really brave. A thinking fast really made the save. Yeah, well, whatever it was, you did it, and that was great. <laughs> but uh, what happened to your trophy? Well, I guess the old phrase is very true. You can't eat your cheese and have it too. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so, Muffy. But you sure have a great story to write about for the memory contest. Oh, that I do. It's very true. <laughs> well, I uh, guess I'll let you get to it then. Bye, Muffy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's something I never thought about. I wonder if Jeff is feeling left out. Muffy, w was that Jeff that you were talking to just a minute ago? Oh, yes, indeed. I is it him you need? Well. I don't really need him, Muffy. It's just that I'm kind of worried about him. Uh, has he worried you? Oh, I'm worried too. Mm. Um, excuse me. Sorry to interrupt, but were you two just talking about Jeff? We were just expressing our concern too. Yeah. Mm. Well, I guess we were all thinking the same thing. Here we are all talking about our memories before we came to the store, and Jeff only has memories of being in the store. Yeah, that, that's kind of what we were thinking, too, isn't it? I think maybe the mm. poor boy's feeling left out of this contest. Mm. Oh, well, I do, too, but well, what can we do? Wait a minute. Maybe I've got an idea right here. Yeah, I knew you'd come up with something, Jody. Oh, I don't want Jeff to hear this. Okay. We've heard a lot of favorite memories today. Do you remember everybody's? What was Mrs. Pennypacker's favorite memory? I remember. Hers is the one about saving Captain Allsworthy's life and helping him find the treasure. What about Jody's favorite memory? Do you remember it? That's right. She remembers her first date at a high school dance. Now, what about Sam? Do you remember his story? Yes, it was about his rescue of General Alvin Cooperthwaite. And then there's Muffy's favorite. What was that again? Oh, yes, she remembers how she got the Mozzarella Award from her school. But what about Jeff? We still don't know what his favorite memory is. Maybe he doesn't have one. Hey, everyone. Everyone? Where'd everyone go? Well, wherever they went, they left something behind. I wonder what it is. Sure is a nicely wrapped gift. I think I'll take a little peek. It's for me. Well, I wonder what it's for. <laughs> I mean, it's not my birthday, and I know it isn't Christmas. Well, I wonder if I should open it. Do you think so? Okay, if you say so. <laughs> it's a photo album. <laughs> I love photo albums. <laughs> I wonder whose pictures are in it. Oh, everyone's pictures are in it. Oh, what a great gift. Surprise! <laughs> 
<laughs> what's this for? I mean, it's great, but what's it for? Well, we realized that we spent all evening telling you about our favorite memories from days gone by. And, and then we thought that, well, maybe you were feeling badly because you didn't have any favorite memories except for here in the store. So we thought we'd remind you of all the good times we've had here. Mm -hmm. Oh, we wanted nice memories to come to mind, so we got all the photographs we could find. But you, you really didn't need to do this. You see, all night long while you've been telling me your favorite memories, well, I've been thinking that all my favorite memories come from you. <laughs> from all the from all the things we've done together and, and all the places you've told me about. Well, I couldn't choose my favorite memory. I, I have too many. Well, now you've got a photo album, Jeff, to help you choose. Come on, everybody. I think maybe Jeff would like to be alone with his memories. Cause you've taken me there I travel the world Go wherever I please Cause you, you make my memories And when we decide That we'll travel no more We always find something to do in the store We act our own stories And sing melodies Yes, you, you make my memories And so many interesting people come by and join us in all of our play With so many good times you'll understand why I wouldn't have missed any day I picture your faces and here's what I see a lifetime of moments you've made just for me The things I remember, you've given me these Yes, you, you make my memories It's true, you make my memories The tales that you tell with the greatest of ease One hundred and one things to do with blue cheese Your life of adventure on all seven seas your voice just as soft as a cool evening breeze Yes, you, you make my memories It's true, you make my memories 